Welcome to 2023. The last 12 months saw the world of construction serve up underwater roundabouts, record-breaking bridges, and an historic theatre that quite literally raised the roof. But the year ahead looks set to be even more dramatic, with the arrival of desert skyscrapers, incredible Formula One tracks, and entire new city districts. The world's greatest industry is about to pull off even more amazing feats. Here are 10 of the most exciting construction projects completing this year. Let's kick off in Japan, because over in Tokyo, something huge is emerging from the concrete jungle. No, not that, this. The Tiranamon Azabudi district, a new super development in the bustling business area of Minato. The goal is to create a city within a city with three enormous mixed-use towers and a public space landscaped by Thomas Heatherwick. In 2022, the main tower, snappily named the Main Tower, topped out at 325 metres and simultaneously became both Japan's tallest building and Tokyo's first super-tall skyscraper. While it's common for skyscrapers to taper in towards their top, this structure keeps its huge floor plate most of the way up the building. Tokyo's in a seismic zone, and the building is so strong that it's designed to be a safe shelter to flee to and for its occupants to carry on working even if Tokyo is hit by a magnitude 9 earthquake. Of course, we hope it doesn't come to that. Instead, developers Mori are hoping that when the district opens in 2023, residents and workers will enjoy a balanced neighbourhood of super high-rise buildings and a low-level park complete with an undulating pergola that creates hidden gardens and sunken courtyards. Staying in Asia, back in 2010, the Malaysian government came up with a plan to develop the nation into a high-income country by 2020. Yes, now three years ago. A key part of the strategy was this. The Tun Razak Exchange, Malaysia's first dedicated international finance hub. Inspired by the success of places like Canary Wharf in London, Pudong in Shanghai, and Singapore's Marina Bay Sands, the Tun Razak Exchange is a hugely ambitious 70-acre district filled with some 2.5 million square feet of office space, a 2 million square foot mall, and nearly 4,000 homes. The project was hit hard by COVID, and Malaysia's strict movement control order added large large delays to much of the construction. Nevertheless, in 2022, the Exchange 106, Southeast Asia's tallest building, was completed, and it's set to be joined by two huge residential blocks in 2023. The core and TRX residences are on track to finish and open, as well as the Exchange TRX, a luxury shopping mall and lifestyle hub. When it comes to mega projects, few places have a better pedigree than Egypt, and they have an iconic building in the desert. No, not that one, this one. The iconic tower. Yes, that's its actual name. Work on this skyscraper began in 2019, and it topped out in 2021 at 393 meters, making it Africa's tallest building and its first super-tall skyscraper. It's being built as the centerpiece of the business district of Egypt's new administrative capital. Long story short, Egypt's capital Cairo has suffered from chronic overcrowding for decades. So in 2015, the government came up with the bold idea of building an entirely new city in the desert. When the tower completes and opens in 2023, it'll be one of 20 proposed skyscrapers in the district, all of which are being built at an estimated cost of 3 billion US dollars. If they last as long as some of their neighbours, the investment will probably be worth it. But you know what's better than a shiny new skyscraper? How about two shiny new skyscrapers? That's what's been built down under in Melbourne at 308 Exhibition Street. And drawing the two towers together is one of the most elaborate sky bridges we've ever seen. Now, sky bridges are nothing new, but they are becoming an increasingly extravagant way of making skyscrapers stand out from a very tall crowd. 
This gold trimmed skybridge will join a residential tower with a hotel tower at the 46th floor and create access between the two. But to get to this stage, the golden skybridge started off with wooden planks and a very strong stomach. A plywood deck was initially laid out using a cantilever from the shorter of the two buildings. Once in place, steel tendons were fitted between the two towers and a concrete slab was poured. Then a roof was fitted between, creating the effect of a ribbon wrapping around one floor floor of the apartment building and two floors of the hotel. One side of the roof has been fitted with a movement joint to allow the bridge to flex. This provides stability to the two towers during seismic tremors and strong winds, just in case you were worried that the golden ribbon was just for show. Speaking of skyscrapers, if you were to think of somewhere that couldn't get enough of them, you'd probably go for something like Dubai, Shanghai or New York. But if you've been paying attention to our videos, you probably won't think of Europe because, well, Europe just doesn't really do skyscrapers. Except there's one place where that's not quite true. This is Four Frankfurt. A new development, funnily enough, featuring four towers in Frankfurt. Frankfurt's historic centre and the bustling financial districts have always been seen as two separate places, but Fort Frankfurt aims to change that. It sits between the two and is creating a mixed-use neighbourhood with offices, a hotel, residential apartments all split between its towers. All those different uses come with different challenges for the construction team, most notably in the concrete cores. Each of the four skyscrapers turns away from the others at strategic points to maximise sunlight and create more views for all the occupants. Adding to the complexity, each structure needs a different configuration of toilets, drainage pipes and columns. That meant that each concrete core had to be constructed differently, but the team seems to have pulled it off and remain on schedule to complete in 2023. Moving away from skyscrapers to something more earthbound, there are some pretty major infrastructure projects completing in 2023. Big infrastructure comes with big benefits, but often some sizable controversy too. If you want an example of that, head on down to Mexico and take a look at Tren Maya. Doing the benefits bit first, Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula has been a thriving tourism hotspot since the 1970s, when cities like Cancun and Cozumel started to make the most of their idyllic coastal Caribbean locations. But it wasn't just dreamy white beaches and impossibly blue seas that were used to lure the leisurely crowds. The peninsula is also home to some of Mexico's greatest Mayan archaeological sites, such as the world-famous Chichen Itza. All of that's pretty hard to get to though, with long slow bus journeys on roads that have seen better days. The solution is Tren Maya, a 10 billion US dollar, 1,500 kilometer railway being constructed to connect major tourist sites with coastal cities and airports. All in all, it's a great way to further develop an invaluable sector of Mexico's economy. That may be true, but the land it's going through is heavily contested and largely covered with jungle. That's prompted loads of legal fights and delays, but still the project is on track to open in December 2023. The economic benefits of the train will most likely put to rest any concerns about its cost, but the row over its construction is certain to keep going for some time to come. From one high-speed project to another, fasten your seatbelts because this year we'll see the inaugural Las Vegas Formula One Grand Prix. That's right, in November 2023 we'll see some of the fastest cars in the world race down Las Vegas's iconic strip. The 6.12 km route will take drivers around 17 corners, a chicane and three high-speed straights, allowing them to reach speeds of up to 212 miles an hour. Now, the B1M is no stranger to Formula One or the difficulty of staging a race in a highly built-up area, and Las Vegas will be no exception. Safety is key, and one of the most important jobs for construction crews is to keep the high-speed action well and truly on the racetrack. To do that, 4,000 barriers are being constructed, each containing over 3.5 tonnes of reinforced concrete. Traffic in Las Vegas is about the same as many other major cities, but for a few days later this year, you can guarantee this will be one place without any traffic jams. 
The Grand Prix might be a new addition, but when it comes to eye-catching construction, Vegas has been in a world of its own for the best part of a century. It's full of world firsts and replica buildings, but what do you do when you've already rebuilt the Great Pyramid of Giza, the Eiffel Tower, ancient Rome, downtown Manhattan, and Venice? Well, you keep the ball rolling and build this, the MSG Sphere, a next-generation immersive cinema that sets open in 2023. That's no moon. No, Obi-Wan, but it might as well be. At over 100 metres tall and nearly 160 metres wide, it's the largest spherical structure on Earth. This absolute beast is made up of four concrete cores tied together with reinforced steel. On top of that, a series of tensioned ring beams were fitted, helping make up the 11,000 tonne roof. But, surprise surprise, building a 19,000 by 13,500 pixel curved cinema screen is not easy. Due to supply chain issues and inflation, it was recently reported that the cost of the sphere had ballooned to nearly 2.2 billion US dollars. We'll have to wait and see if this gamble pays off. Now, while Vegas might have been the original destination of choice for outlandish construction, there's somewhere that's been working very hard to catch up. The UAE. The country already boasts the world's tallest building, world's deepest pool, and a series of man-made islands shaped like the world. But very soon, it'll also have the world's biggest aquarium. When it opens later in 2023, SeaWorld Abu Dhabi will host marine life in 58 million litres of artificial ocean. And you'll be able to see in with views like this. The Endless Vista, a 20 metre high window into the aquarium stretching over several levels. If you've ever had a goldfish, you'll know there's more to keeping a plegic pet than just filling a tank with water. And the fuzzy fish at SeaWorld Aquarium are no different. Just the right level of natural light will be allowed into the tanks to support marine life while preventing algae growth. Then there's the actual aquarium itself. How do you build a tank that big without... Well, the secret is, you don't use glass. Acrylic is the material of choice for most aquariums, as it's 17 times stronger than glass and more pliable, allowing it to be bent into different shapes. So rest assured, when you book your ticket for the opening, you won't have to worry about escaping a killer shark before being saved by dolphins. Finally, we've got to mention the Olympics. It's one of the most prestigious sporting events a country can host, and also one of the most expensive. Historically, host cities have been picked largely thanks to ambitious plans for monumental construction projects and city-wide development schemes. But in recent years, such moves have drawn criticism, especially when stadiums go on to sit empty or become white elephants. But it won't be like that at the Paris 2024 Olympics, where sustainability is high on the agenda. This is the Aquatic Centre, set to complete in 2023, and amazingly, it's the only permanent building constructed for the Games. Energy use is being carefully monitored, and the roof is being constructed at the minimum permitted height while still enabling sight lines from the stands. The idea there is to create a smaller space which requires less heating. 90% of the building's energy needs are going to be met by renewable or recovered sources, and around a quarter of that is coming from the roof alone. When it comes to sustainability, this is one building that's definitely making a splash. You can learn more about this and the other topics on our channel over on the World's Best Construction Podcast, available now wherever you get your podcasts. To keep up to date with all of these projects and discover more about the incredible construction industry in 2023, make sure you subscribe to the B1M.